Hey guys, so I'm here on Avenue A East 9th, right in front of Tompkins Park. Tompkins Park on this side. So I wanted to try this spot, the Seoul, Two Hands Soul Fresh Corn Dogs, but it is the same as the other Korean hot dogs, that, that corn dogs that we tried, if you see them over there. So I don't want to do that, so I'm going to do something different this time. We're going to do a 99 cent pizza. I know I said I will never do it. I will never do a 99 cent pizza. Look, here's Tompkins Park right here on this side. And I'm right, I'm, I won't do it. But this one's right next to Criff's Hot Dog Spot, which I'm gonna try next. And they sell hot dogs here. So even though I won't do the pizza, I will do the hot dog. See how much it is, and then we'll try it out. It's a crazy day, it's uh, it's all uh, very hungry. Yeah. What's up, boss? Hi. How are you, man? So let me do a hot dog. How many? Oh, uh, just one. All beef hot dog. Yeah. Do let me get a, a mustard. No, mustard, sauerkraut, and onions. No. Just mustard and ketchup. So let me do just mustard. Mustard's good, thank you man. And you know what, let me get a slice for the guy outside. Yeah, sounds good. And I'll get a, a just a slice for the guy outside. Oh yeah. We got this nice setup right here. Let's see. I'll show you guys the menu. Like I said, I'll never do a dollar pizza, but I'll do the uh, the hot dog and see how that tastes. If you have this slice of pizza ready, I'll, I'll just give it to the guy outside. One? Yeah, just one slice. Okay, you're gonna heat it up? All right, perfect, thank you, man. How much is the pepperoni? It's two? Yeah. One? So I'll show you guys out here. Nice little spot. 150. Let me get two. Let me get two slices. Yeah, sorry. So I'll go. I'll go out here just to see. So in my last video, I did the dollar pizza. Not the dollar. I'm sorry. I did Sam's Pizza at 116th Street. You know, I got a lot of feedback on that one. Like, oh, you know, the Walking Dead. Why do you say? It? You know, I'm being sarcastic. I I grew up in Queens. You know, I know I know what it is to walk through neighborhoods like that. I was born and raised in Queens, so it's not like I'm scared or anything like that, but I'm just being sarcastic. It's, you know, and some people take it seriously. Like, oh, you say this, you say that, whatever. You know, I'm from New York. I know exactly how it is. And here's the thing. I grew up in Queens, right? I, I went to school during the late 90s when there was drugs and there was, uh, you know, um, drug dealers in the school, when there were gangs all over the place. So you could tell when somebody's hungry, you could tell when someone's, you know, looking to do some damage. You could tell, right? And you could tell by the person's eyes. And I would always say that. So I walk, I walk down the street and you could tell by someone's eyes if they're curious, right? They're like, oh, is he filming? Is he doing this? And then you could tell by their eyes if they're planning something, right? If I take this, where can I run? Where can I hide? You know, and, and a lot of it, what happened on 116th Street, is that they were planning to do stuff, right? So, see, they're helping him. I got him two slices. Two slices? Thank you, man. Just put in a box for the guy out here. Box? Yeah, just a little box for him. And then I'll take the hot dog whenever you can. Thank you, brother. 
and um, here you go. Here you go, brother. Enjoy, okay? No problem. No problem. Yeah, no problem. Uh, you too, man. So, so like I was saying, you know, I you I walk down 116th Street all the time because I have customers there, right? I walk down 125th Street, I have customers there. And I have no problem walking down these streets, right? And, and no one should. But the problem is you also have to keep an eye out, right? It's, it'll be dumb if you don't keep an eye out. If I just walk all willy-nilly with my wallet out, money hanging out. Oh, yeah, I'm going to buy this, buy that. Like, that's just dumb. You're putting yourself in a bad position. You always have to be vigilant, right? So when I walk down the street, I could see, oh, someone's, you know, got shifty eyes. They're following me. Someone's too close. Oh, thank you, bro. There we go. That's yeah, that's it. That's good enough. Thank you, man. How much for everything? Five kids. Five kids? No, don't, don't wrap it up. I'll go. There we go. The rest is for you. Thank you, brother. Have a good one, okay? All right. Yeah. If, if he wants something to drink, you could give him something to drink from that. Is that fine? Oh, thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. Yeah. Ah, oh, can. I don't like when they order a can. What happens with the can is that they look, it's nice and hot. Woo, looks good. Looks good. I mean, for 250, not bad. When they order a can, you know, usually what they do is they drink or pour out the soda. They cut open the can and they use it as a cooking tool for heroin or whatever they have, fentanyl, whatever. Oh, here's Crips dogs. So let me walk up just to show you guys. So I don't like when they order a can, but whatever. You know, a guy was hungry, he was asking for food, which is okay. So when you walk up the street and you see somebody already planning something with their eyes, then you have to be careful, right? So, and, I've, and you guys have seen it before, even Times Square, right? You have to be vigilant. It's a safe spot, but you still have to be, you have to be vigilant. So I felt somebody really close to me, right behind me, like way too close, right? You know, something's up. So I pulled over to the side. Obviously he looked at the camera, he walked away. 116th Street, I said The Walking Dead, a lot of people were like, that's messed up, why are you saying that? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, but at the same time, I crossed the street, I felt, I felt like too many eyes on me, right, shifty eyes, and when I crossed the street, a guy was following me, and when I f turned around to film him, he just awkwardly, in the middle of the street, turns around and walks away, right? So, it's not, you know, everyone's saying racist, this and that, no, it's not, it's being vigilant, right? So here you go, Crips dogs. I'm gonna try this spot next. Seems like it's full. Yeah, some people in there. Oh no, it's not. Oh yeah, there's one person in there. Let me see, I just don't wanna walk in because the music's blasting, but let's try this hot dog out. I've already talked for too, too long, I'm sorry. Mmm. All right. See, this is what happens, right? He put it he put it in the oven. When you overcook it, it gets too salty. You get all the juice out of it and only the salt remains. So it gets too, too salty. So this one's way too salty. Right? It's not bad. But it's not it's not that good either. And only he only had mustard. So if you're on St. Mark's uh, you know, hitting the bars and you're drunk. Cheap, cheap food right here. Two bucks, two fifty. Get a good hot dog. All right. Let's walk up a bit. I'll show you guys these spots. Woof, it's salty. Actually, you know what? Let me cross the street because I walked by this tattoo parlor and this dude was getting a tattoo right by, like you could hear the needle from outside. He was getting a tattoo right there by the, by the, uh, by the window. Yeah, it's, it's salty. I mean, let me rate it before I go. Mm. 6.2 I mean if it's good if you're drunk right if you're walking around here drinking like crazy and you need something in your stomach listen 
You hear it? You hear the needle from out here? It's crazy. All right, 6.2. Six point two. There we go. All right, thank you guys. Have a great one. Thanks for everything. You guys are the best. Please like and subscribe. I'm gonna walk up here. Let's see if we hit some other spots before I go to Chris. Let's see what they got here. We got a lot of cool little spots. Um, little Guns N' Roses in that bar. See, spots like these are the ones that I love. Like right across the street, Paquitos. Right, that could be like a wonderful spot that no one knows about. Great tacos. Even this bar, blasting uh, Guns N' Roses might be a good bar too. What else is over here? Look, stuffed ice cream. What is that? East Village Pizza. Maybe a great slice of pizza right there. You know, you got all these little stores that could be wonderful. That's why New York is amazing. Because no matter how many times you walk up these streets, something is different. I'm telling you. I haven't been here in years and it's completely different. In a year's maybe four or five years. You know, pand pandemic ruined a lot of stuff, but new things keep popping up and that's what makes it wonderful. Look, there's another taco spot here. Hold on. Hold on. Because my uh, my thing's like has a mind of its own. See, look at this. Mole. Who knows? Could be an amazing spot we don't know about. Authentic food. Just walk up here a little bit more just to see what else is there. I don't want to make the video too long. It's for the small portion of you who love just walking up the city, taking a look. Bagels. Look at that, that looks pretty cool. Look at her making those bagels there. Wow, it's pretty cool. Give me a dirty eye, like you better not film me. <laughs> See all these little spots, that's amazing. They're making the bagels right there in front of you. Look at this guy. Just a food truck in the middle of nowhere. This guy was in Astoria, comes out of Astoria, Queens. Sahara East, look. Might be a, an amazing spot. Definitely want to try Mediterranean food. There was a Moroccan spot that closed down close to me and I absolutely loved the hummus and uh, the kofta meat. 
Man, I could I could walk back to the office from here on East 12, and I wouldn't it wouldn't bother me. Got to get my steps in. I'm gonna keep walking, just filming what what's on here, because I love seeing all this. So if you guys want to see, you know, you're welcome to. If you want to leave, you're welcome to also. But before you do, like and subscribe. I'm just hitting like every. I'm here. I'm gonna look at every spot, see what's new. Broth. Look, they just sell broth from a window. That's awesome. That's broth from a window. That's cool. You see that? That's like it reminds me of like in Italy that they uh, sell from a little window. And because of the pandemic, they started doing that again. You know, you would order food, they would open the little windows up. They got these little uh, slots open on the side of the building. You just pick up your order, which is great. Look, you got uh, land food. Look at this. You got, uh, you got Cuba. You got Cuba, Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico. This, this is the best food you with this combination of three countries. This is the best food you will you will ever have, and a heart attack before you're thirty. Like the prices aren't that bad. Roasted chicken, stewed chicken. Oh, stewed beef. That's what I love. Stewed beef. Oh, oxtail too. You guys been to Jamaica? Got the oxtail. With the uh, with the rice and beans and the oxtail sauce, oh man, I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. Definitely got a heart attack before 30, though. But you're enjoying life. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, that was yours. No, his. Oh, his. Ah, who cares? Yeah. guy's parking ticket flew and he doesn't care she's like ready to pick it up for him yeah. I'm walking around I feel like I have mustard all over my face all right now we're on East 14th See what we have here. We got empanadas, ma empanada mama on the corner. Sorry. East 14th. Oh man. I've definitely been here. Look at that right there. I think that spot that spot was in Queens. It was in Jackson I Jackson Heights, Queens, but it was called Mama's Empanadas. So over here they call it Empanada Mama. And they have like 50 different uh, empanada styles. Let's take a look. I'll walk up East 14. So one thing, if you're if you're in New York, one thing I've noticed is that everyone stays like in the tourist areas for restaurants, right? Because you got the nice, and I'll give you an example, like Carmine's on 42nd, 43rd Street, or the one that's on the Upper West Side. Everybody loves that, so it's great, right? It's a tourist spot, but don't sleep on 2nd Ave and don't sleep on 1st Ave. You got a lot of really nice spots. Look right here, empanadas. Look at this. You got all these different empanadas. You order it from in there. And I just saw okay they got a they got uh they got enough in there to heat them. That's good. 
because there was one in Jackson Heights I went to and they uh, put it in the microwave. That's a big no-no for me. Once it goes in the microwave, I'm like, nope. No, thank you. Let me, let me uh... Uh, let's walk up East 14th and then I'll stop filming. This was a good walk. Thanks guys for walking with me. Thanks for walking with me. I appreciate it. I, I feel like, you know what's funny? Even though I'm by myself, like talking, knowing that everyone's viewing this, I feel like I'm with a thousand people behind me, like giving a tour. I don't know. It's a funny feeling. Yeah, because everyone's staring like, look at this loony bin just talking to himself. But in my head, I'm like giving a tour. <laughs> All I can hear is, and then over here, take a look here. And I love it. Let's see what they got. Oh, we're going to 20 minutes on this video. I'll do five minutes more. Artichoke pizza. Oh my God. That doesn't sound appetizing, but I'll try it out. Coffee shops. Oh, I just remember I gotta get a shoe shine. Woo, look, shoe repair. Get another shoe shine. Let me see. Can I get a shoe shine here? I don't see seats for a shoe shine. And I probably, yeah, I probably have to take your shoes off and just wait there. The halal guys, their storefront. These guys got famous real quick. Alright, let me end it here in this corner, 2nd Ave. This is another 40 minute video, just walking up 2nd Ave and just seeing all the stores. Like you got a $1.50 spot pizza over there, Tio Pio. I think that's Peruvian chicken, I'm not sure. And then you got American chicken here. <laughs> KFC. What's funny is you're like, you know, sometimes you're like, I'm never gonna have KFC. And then it's late at night, you're hungry, the kids are screaming, you're like, crap. You do the wall, you do the you drive through, and you're like, hmm, that's not bad. Pretty good. And next morning you're like, why did I have that? The OPO. I'm pretty sure, I just wanna make sure it's Peruvian. If not, then I'll try it out. So there's a couple of chicken spots here. You got KFC, you got T.O.P.O. Definitely Peruvian. I've, I've tried a lot of Peruvian chicken, which is amazing. If it's something different, then I'll try it out. Let me see if I could see what they have. Rice and beans, plantains, beef stew, beans. No, this seems like uh, it might be pork chop, rice and beans. This might be like South American, Colombian maybe, per meal, no. Huh. All right, I'll try that out next. I'll see. It, it could be Peruvian. They just probably have different styles. And then they got mad for chicken over there, which is a Korean spot. So I'm going to leave you guys off with this thought, okay? And then I'm going to end it. I really am. I'm going to leave you off with this thought, okay? Look at the chicken spots that are just here in New York, right? So let's say I buy a 10-piece wings here. And then I go over there and I buy 10-piece wings. And then the pizza joint, I buy 10-piece wings. And then in the corner KFC, I buy 10-piece wings, right? That's 40 wings. That's, that's 20 chickens. 20 chickens in just these four stores here in a small portion of New York, right? 20 chickens. How many chickens are born to, to make all these chicken wings? 
Because I'm just buying it from four stores here. Imagine if I buy all of New York. How, how many chickens are slaughtered every day just to get all these chicken wings or chicken breasts or whatever? Thighs, right? Sometimes I think about it, I'm like, geez. Just a conspiracy theory. All right, I'll leave you with that one. I'm going to take the train over here. I'm going to take the L. Thanks, guys. Bye.